already. So this arrived today. It's in the uh, Express Post package, just as is, not in a box or anything. So anyway, so just a quick rundown on how everything's working. So this this button feels as though it's a bit gummy, so it's probably just not contacting properly up the top. So anyway, turn it on. You can hear the haptics work, which is good. So that means this is intact as a board. Turn that off. It does go into pair mode properly, which is good, which means that the connection between this and the motherboard works, which is good. So let's just pair it. Pairing, pairing, pairing. Fingers crossed. Five controller paired. Done. Okay, so we've got the headset sitting just there. So, ah, maybe that lead is faulty. So the haptics work, but that doesn't mean the entire ribbon cable's intact. Yeah, so that's just stuck with the blue light. I'll try pair it again, because this is this is what happened on another controller. So it went to pair, but it was a slow flash, not a long flash, not a not a quick one. So this this is a working controller. Just here, you can actually see that has already been. Recondition out of a broken steam controller. So hang on. So pair mode, it should be like that. Whereas this one is like this. So that usually actually indicates that there's a fault uh, inside the controller. And it's not just gummy. This has probably actually had a good hit from a game like Gorn or something and just broken. So hang on, we'll turn that one off. Because yes, basically no matter what we try, this one will actually not pair properly. It will say it's paired sometimes if we get lucky, but it will never actually pair. Or if it does pair, it will turn on and won't track. So that's pretty conclusive, which is good. That narrows things down a lot. So um, yeah, I'll. That's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. All right. So this, hang on a minute. Okay, so before we actually whip it up open and just let you know what else needs to be fixed, might as well just do this. So it's gonna, it's gonna light up like that. We can see there but it will likely never actually get tracking. So what happens basically is the, the ribbon controller fails, which means some sort of self-test on the controller doesn't quite work for whatever reason. Um, and it will never actually get to a point where it initially like fully connects and works. So it, it will occasionally if we, it might be a very little, borderline connection might flash in with tracking even for like a second but generally speaking this, this controller um, is going to require a uh, at the very least the new ribbon cable which is probably going to require the new trackpad um, and the ribbon cable assembly which will actually come out of here so alrighty